Albert B. Neller is the 37th Commandant of the United States Marine Corps. He's a native of East Lansing, Michigan. He has degrees from the University of Virginia and Pepperdine. He joined the Marines in 1975. Since then, he's, he's been to the Army Officer Advanced Course. You'd think he would go to the Advanced Course, being the Commandant of the Marine Corps. The Marine Corps Command and Staff College, the NATO Defense College, and the Armed Forces Staff College. He's been the Commander of Marine Forces Command from in 2014 and 15, Central Command 2012 to 2014, Marine Security Force Company Panama during Operation Just Cause. That's when we went down there and creamed Noriega. He was in Operation uh, Iraqi Freedom is the Deputy Commanding General. He was Director of Operations for the Joint Staff in Washington, D.C. He's been President of the Marine Corps University. I didn't know that until today. He and his wife, Darcy, have three children, one of them, Brett, a graduate of our college and a football player. I will say about uh, General Neller that I went to Barracks One with Mike Murray one time to uh, watch the Friday night uh, drill, which is awesome, uh, all summer long in Washington, you should go. I bet Murray can get you a ticket. And because I'm a big cheese and because Brett Neller went here, I got invited to the private reception. And it was full of Obama officials. <laughs> and I thought, oh wow, yeah, I guess they run the Marine Corps too. And a lot of dignitaries, and the general came out and gave a talk, and he introduced them all. And, and I thought, you know, I wonder, well, never mind. You can imagine what I wondered. <laughs> and then he said at the end, he said, and you know, the president of the best college in America is here tonight. And he introduced me, me, and I was stunned. And then all of the generals there, it was like 60 stars on shoulders came marching over to me to shake my hand and ask me about Hillsdale College. General Bailey has been here since then. And so what does that mean? That means uh, this is a man who says what he thinks. And he has been very brave, hasn't he? Please welcome Robert Neller. Thank you. I don't, I don't give speeches, um, so I'm going to ask permission from Dr. Arne to walk around and, and talk to you a little bit. But uh, to he and, and uh, Mr. Sajak, new chairman of the board, I did, I did consider the offer you made me, Dr. Arne because he thinks so much of you seniors that he said, just take them all and enlist them in the Marine Corps. <laughs> and I said, yes. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I had you for a second though, didn't I? For me, this is uh, probably not a normal thing. Yesterday and today, I was presiding and, and giving an oath of office commissioning about 35 officers in the United States Navy and the United States Marine Corps. Yesterday at College Station, Texas A&M, and today here at Hillsdale. And I'll be very frank to the, to the seniors here. Uh, speaking to this, to this audience, I'm a little bit nervous, and the reality is you're probably not going to remember a single thing I say. So I will try to endeavor to break that likelihood, but uh, as I thought about it, you know, given a, doing a commissioning and talking to those that are going to follow a path that I've followed for the past 40 years is something you would expect me to be able to do. The life that, that I chose actually 44 years ago, almost to a day, commissioned a, a second lieutenant was not my plan. My plan was to do my three years and then go out and find my fortune elsewhere. And then over time, this didn't became what I did, it became what I am. 
And I think I speak the same for the faculty. If you become a teacher, eventually teaching is not what you do, it's just what you are. But as I started to think about it, I, I realized as I was going through the process at A&M and here today and watching it and looking at the faces of the, those who were commissioning it, this really is not a whole lot different than a commissioning. And, and let me tell you why I feel that way. Um, those, those officers, now officers, were students, and like you, they're beginning the next path in, in their life. Uh, they've completed the rigors of an academic institution, you're going to be awarded a degree. And with that degree becomes, comes responsibility. And at those same events, the one thing I also noticed is the parents. So I believe that the great majority of you hopefully are blessed by having somebody here to thank you afterwards and you're going to get your degree and they're going to come down and, and they're going to look at you and they're going to hug you and say, I'm so proud of you. And you're going to feel good about that. And you should feel good about that. I don't want you to ever forget how that feels to have that pride of your parents or grandparents, your friends, your brothers, your sisters, whomever, congratulate you on this day. But that's just a first step. And I guess I would ask the seniors, we recognize the parents, I'd ask you to join me in a round of applause for your parents and your family that are here to support you today. Now your job is to go out and get a job with health insurance. So what am I gonna say to you that would be different than what I would say to a group of young men and women that are putting on the uniform to defend their nation and take on the demands of that profession. I don't really think it's any different. And I don't think it's any different than what you've heard here while you've been a student at Hillsdale. I think the qualities and the attributes that make people successful, I think if you talk to Mr. Sajak or all the other people that are here the Van Andels or all the people in business and the very successful people who rightfully and properly support this university, this college. There's no rocket science here. So in the Marine Corps, they, they tell you to keep it in threes because people can remember three things. So let me give you three thoughts. Effort matters. You wouldn't be sitting here today getting ready to come across this podium to receive a degree if you, were not exert, if you were not able to exert effort. But that effort doesn't end today. In fact, the demands of your effort are going to be even greater. There's a huge amount of talent among you. Your talent is only going to result in achievement if you're willing to put in the effort. And so, thus far you have, and I know you'll continue to do that. But the demands on your effort as you compete against people outside this college and around the world are going to require more effort. The United States is in a competition around the world with others. It will take our effort to come out on top. The second thing, there will be adversity. There may have already been adversity in your life. Uh, your parents will probably could tell you about adversity. Maybe it was adversity that they've dealt with. Somebody but there will be times in the future when things won't go well. It may be professionally, it may be personally. There will be days when you'll be challenged. But your measure as a man or woman of virtue and character is going to be graded on or evaluated on how you persevere. You can't quit. You can't quit. I mean, the Marine Corps teaches us that. You can't quit. You figure out, you adapt, you overcome, you persevere. You figure out a way to solve the problem. And you've got all these people that Dr. Arn talked about, friends of the college, your parents, your friends, your family, your fellow classmates, who are going to be there to help you figure it out. You're never alone. You're never alone. So we have to overcome. We have to persevere. And the third thing is character counts. Character counts. And that's what this college is really all about. This college is all about character. I mean, you're smart, you, you're academically qualified, but I think the thing that may give you an edge is the discussions you've had 
about what's right, what's wrong, what's honor, what's integrity, what's virtue, what is a good man or woman speaking well, what is accountability and responsibility. So all those character traits, you think about the person in your life, they may be sitting in this room with us, they may be in the faculty here, they may be friends, they, but they're probably family members, coaches, teachers, people that, admire, that you admire, that inspired you over the years to get you to this point today, and they had all those qualities. qualities. They worked hard, they exerted effort, they were men and women of virtue and character, they were humble, they were respectful, they did everything to make everybody else better. It was never about them, it was always about the team. So character counts. So that's my message. Effort matters, character counts, and we have to persevere in all things that we do. In closing, again, I appreciate the opportunity to be here with you today, and I congratulate you all on your achievement, and I congratulate your families for their support. Because at the end of the day, when it's all said and done, they're going to say something about us. And the first part of that sentence has already been written. It's going to say your name, your hometown, and it's going to say Hillsdale graduate. And then there's a space. There's a space. And somebody's going to write something in that space. And now you own that space. So what do you want it to say? This college has given you the foundation to fill that space in the right and proper way, and I know you're going to take advantage of that, so make it count. Make it count. I'm very proud to be here with you today. Again, to the families, thank you for your support, uh, for your, uh, your graduate. Uh, I know they are going to need your help in the future, and I know you'll be there for them, and for all of you that are graduating, best of luck, and uh, I wish you all well in whatever endeavor you take on in the future. Thank you very much. I just told the general that's one of the best commencement speeches I ever heard. Thank him very much. Uh, would you come forward, general, please? If you look in that area right there on his left, Decorating this man is redundant. <laughs> Upon the recommendation of the faculty of Hillsdale College and with the authority vested in me by its board of trustees, I confer upon General Robert B. Neller the honorary degree Doctor of Public Service. <laughs>